our next spine-chilling tale is called Monster. But it has nothing to do with lizard people or giant computer-generated bug robots. It's the one where Dari and I produce a bit of cinema verite on the subject of Quinn. Call me an auteur of airheadedness. Call me a visionary of vacuity. Call us kooky kids who don't know when to arrest the alliterating. Begin the episode! Oh boy, here they come. Here they come. Thank you, sweetie. How did you know it was my birthday? The note you left on my bed? Right. Oh. So, what did you get your old man for his big day? Nothing. Nothing? Why not? I think Mom forgot to take me to the mall. How could she forget one of the most important days of the year? I don't know. Maybe you should have left her a note, too. Well, when she does take you to the mall, remember to buy me something I'd really like. Something useful. What do you mean by useful? Glad you asked, sweetie. A useful gift is something I can wear every day and cost a lot of money. Like a pair of socks? Well, not so every day, but still cost a lot of money. I see. Well, I'll try to get you something useful then. But Mom never gives me enough money to buy her birthday presents. Is that so? Here you go. A $5 bill? Yeah, add that to the money your mom gives you. Now, what are you going to buy me? Two pairs of socks. Happy birthday, dear. How do you feel? There's nothing like a good walk. The feeling of blood pumping through your veins first thing in the morning makes me feel like a teenager. Good, because the leaves need to be raked. A teenager with a bad back. Those leaves still need to be raked. But it's my birthday. Uh huh. Nobody works on their birthday. I worked on my birthday. So you're punishing me for your mistake. Arthur, it's Saturday. If you don't rake the leaves today, they'll stay there all week. I understand, dear. But can't you see the brown winter grass underneath? It's not nearly as pretty as the colors of the leaves. Listen, I'd rake the yard right now if it was ready. Excuse me? Those two leaves have to fall off first. Really? And you can't pull them off. You can't hurry nature. So why don't you give me my birthday gift early? <laughs> You're naughty. <laughs> I do what I can. Will you stop touching me? I'm not touching you. And stop breathing on me too? How about you just stop breathing? Okay, that's enough. Now, will somebody calmly tell me what's the problem? I told Roy I was going to ask you when we were going to buy Dad's birthday gifts. And the next thing I know, Roy practically runs me over. What? You tripping. Am not. Or so. I said enough. We're going to the mall to buy your father's gifts today after breakfast. Thank you. That's all I wanted to know. I am not touching you. Get away from I'm me, you little squirt. <laughs> Mom? Yes, Angie? I was wondering if this year I could shop for Dad's present alone. I am 16. So, you'll pay for it alone, too. How? I mean, I'm just 16. What your father would really like doesn't cost any money. Really? Your father would love to spend some time with you. Is that too much to ask? Mom, I'm 16. I won't even have quality time for another two years. Oh. Glad you cleaned up your room, son. Thanks. Mom was on my case about it. So, what's up? Bam! Cool! Is this for cleaning my room? No, son. That's for my birthday present. Well, you're six months early, but thanks. Get in, Dad. I've been thinking about your present, but what do you get for a man who has everything? More of it. Oh, Norma. Here. 
What's this? My gift list. Gift list? Yeah, you know. A list of gifts I want you to surprise me with for my birthday. 50 square inch plasma TV? <laughs> Surround sound. State of the art massage recliner. Yeah, buddy, really works out the kinks. Uh, with a remote control beverage and hoagie attachment? Now that's what I call technology. Unbelievable. You're telling me. Whatever happened to it's the thought that counts. Look, the point is, it would be nice to get gifts I actually need. Like a barbecue grill with an AM FM radio? And the meat thermometer headphones. Think about it, Norma. You can guarantee the kids get me something useful this year. You have the power. I know what I'm getting, Dad. What's your father going to do with the Susie wets a lot? Play with me. Nice try. Oh, man! The new Dragonfire game! Dad's been asking for this. I haven't heard him ask for it. Well, you will if we don't get it for him. I'll take my chances. I can't believe you two. It's your father's birthday, the one day we think about him before ourselves. Ooh, <laughs> rose petals. Oh. Ah. <sighs> It's not your father's scent. Now let's see. We need to buy him something he'd really like, something useful. How about this? A mug is useful. And we walk over the hill at the park? Can't argue with that. Roy, I think you found your father's gift. Yes! Hmm. They're all nice. It's so hard to choose. My dad would love to add any of these to his pen collection. Hey, Angie. Uh, hi, James. Oh. Ooh, I like your blouse. <laughs> Thanks. I, I like your blouse, too. I mean, shirt. I, I like your shirt. <laughs> Do you have any plans tonight? Tonight? We're celebrating my dad's birthday. Why? Well, Rabbit Weasel was in town, and I was kind of hoping you would come to the concert with me. Really? Me? Yeah, you. And then maybe after the concert, we could, you know, kick it. But since you have plans, don't worry about it. I'll just ask someone else. Wait, I can go after dinner. No, I wouldn't want to speed you through your pop's big day. Oh, don't worry about him. Cool, I'll pick you up around 7. <laughs> I'll be waiting. Oh, Angie, there's one more thing. Why don't you get the tickets and I'll supply the drinks? I'd like to, but I'm kind of out of cash. Then what were you going to use to buy that fancy pen? My dad's birthday money. You mean the guy you told me not to worry about? If you find a way to buy those tickets, give me a holler. to enjoy their spirit and color. His fortress is strong, its walls high. From his precipice, he watches for Mother Nature. He knows that it is her goal to bring the winds of change, to guide the tree into maturity. So, Angie, are you gonna tell us what you bought, Dad? I told you, a present. You know that? Knucklehead. What did you call me? Knucklehead. Hello, my loving family. Hi, dear. What have you got behind your backs? Your presents. Oops. My presents, huh? It's the convertible I always wanted. <laughs> no, silly. It's... Catherine, be strong. You're not gonna tell me? Mm -mm -mm. Guess I'll have to find out myself. No, Dad, stop! Get us. Attack. <sighs> Good boy. Kettis didn't do anything. I was talking to you. 
What's wrong with her? I don't know. But something's going to be wrong with you if you don't go back into the den so that we can wrap your presents. I'm going. I'm going. Man's a prisoner in his own house. This is my kingdom. My abode. This is my castle. My fortress. Huh? Huh? James. Dad. James. Dad. like that. So I didn't buy Dad's fancy ink pen for his collection. This pen does the same thing. I'm calling James. Or did I do the wrong thing? You, is it too late to return the concert tickets and buy Dad a real pen? I don't want to let James down. But that's better than letting Dad down. Angie! Sky and Carmel are here! What are you guys doing here? Girl, don't act all innocent. We know James asked you out. Who told you that? Jessica's play cousin, BB told my sister's best friend, Lulu, that she heard it from her brother, Dion, who works in a pen oh. shop where James asked you out. So give it up. Details, girl. We want details. Okay, okay. I was at the pen shop, right? Right. And James came in looking all fine in his letterman's jacket. I bet he did. He came straight up to me and he said he liked my blouse. For real? For real. <laughs> and then he said, do you want to go with me to the Rabbit Weasel concert tonight? Get out. And then, yeah. yeah. He said, maybe after the concert, <gasps> we could kick it. Shut up. Our girl's going out with the finest guy in school. Wait a minute, guys. I'm not sure if I can go. Come again? Tonight's my dad's birthday dinner. Ugh, this dinner is ruining everything. Look, he'll have another one next year. I know. James is cute and everything, but family is family. I hear you, Sky. Besides, are you prepared to kick it with James? What do you mean? Don't act like you don't know about his bad boy reputation. That's the past. Bad boys don't spend money on concert tickets. James is obviously asking Angie out on a real date. Maybe you're right. Girl, please. Carmel knows what she's talking about. So, what are you gonna do? Okay, everybody, come on. It's time for your dad Happy to open his presents. Happy birthday, Daddy. How does it feel to be ancient? Me first, me first. Open the sweat socks first. <gasps> sweat socks. Happy birthday, Dad. How useful. How did you know I needed sweat socks, honey? Mom told us. She said your old ones could take morning walks by themselves. You remember that, but not take out the trash? <laughs> Happy birthday, Dad. Give me that present. Another useful gift. Now, how did you know I drink coffee? Turn it around, Dad. Over the hill, my boy. <laughs> Obviously, he has his dad's sense of humor. Angie, want to go next? No, you go ahead. Okay. Yeah, buddy. Box this size has got to be good. It's a rake. But not just any rake. It's made of aircraft aluminum, special space age rubber grip, and indestructible steel claws. That's it. That's your useful gift. Right. Well, good. Thank you, dear. Very useful. That's not all. Oh, honey, you shouldn't have. You got me a newspaper ad? It will be delivered on Monday. You should have. Thank you. <laughs> Is this for me? You shouldn't have. You really shouldn't have. Okay, Angie, no more stalling. What did you get, Dad? Happy birthday, Dad. A ballpoint pen. <laughs> Can I be excused? What? Can I have Angie's room? Angie, where were you this afternoon? The mall with you. You were at the mall, but not shopping with me. Now, where were you? I was buying Dad's present. You had $35. This pen cost a dollar. So either you spent the rest of the money somewhere, or there's 34 more pens in your pocket. I don't have any more pens. Then what did you do with the money? OK, OK. I spent the money on concert tickets. Concert tickets? Why would you do a thing like that? I'm crazy? An insanity plea is not flying with me, Angie. I mean, I was crazy to think the pen was enough. But then I decided to get concert tickets, too. That's not all. Uh, 
Happy birthday, Dad. Again. Rabbit Weasel? Angie, this is a perfect present. It is? Arthur, do you even know what Rabbit Weasel is? Of course I know what it is. Thank you. I haven't been to the zoo in years. Well, I just had a talk with Angie and found out how those concert tickets wound up as your birthday gift. It involves a boy, doesn't it? Not just any boy, the finest guy in school. James something or other. Alone? That's it, you know him? Oh, I know him and his reputation. He asked Angie to the concert but wanted her to pay for it. And child did. What kind of daughter are you raising? A kind who calls fine James back up and says she's not going to the concert with him. Mom, where's Dad? In the bathroom. Dad, are you ready? Oh, no. Are you ready? change. What's wrong with my threads? Threads? Well, I think he looks groovy. Thank you, Foxy. This is gonna be a long night. Did I really just say that? Excuse me. Excuse me. Worn my white polyester suit with the purple platform shoes and the goldfish. Let's go to the concession stand. I want a soda. What do you want? Oxygen. Here, hold my hand. Okay, right behind you. touching the ground. Yeah. Wow. Check you out. Your first mosh pit and you're already crowd surfing. It was fun, but at my age, I'd rather be channel surfing. Dr. Bindleby? Hey, check you out. Hi, Angie. Bye, James. I was crazy for ever wanting to go out with James. No, James was crazy for thinking I'd ever let you go out with him. Dad, I'm sorry for not giving you a useful present. Are you kidding? Hanging out with you is very useful. You're just saying that to make me feel better. No, I'm saying it because it's the truth. Let's see. Concert tickets, $35. Earplugs, $3. Spending time with my teenage daughter, priceless. Happy birthday, Dad. Pretty fat with my purple suede boots. Can I borrow it sometime? 
This shirt? This is my lucky shirt I wore on my first date with your mother. And let me tell you, your dad was looking fine that night. <laughs> hey, how was the concert, guys? Mom, we had a great time. Thank you.